And we're back. So, where we're heading is right over here. <clears throat> this is Car Dingle. Just the first of many, um, the first of many interesting named dungeons in this game. <clears throat> And here we have a classic, a sliding block puzzle. So first one to get over here. <coughs> what about that? This over here. Mm. This. Over here. Two lucky cards. And now to move on. <clears throat> Slide this over there, and we're done. Easy. They will get harder. <laughs> Lightning. Shocking. Really. Who has lightning again? Is it you? Yes, it's, it's called Inspire. <coughs> Not entirely sure what that name means, but. Some of the uh, things have weird names because Crimea, you know, fire. Yeah, makes sense. Devastate is interesting. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Fragile. <laughs> Revive. That makes sense. But, yeah. Maybe inspire is just a, a term that I don't know in relation to thunderstorms. Also, oh, their attack is Gimlet, which I also don't know what that means. Hey, what a thunder gem. Delightful. From what I remember, this dungeon is not overly complex. At least in terms of navigation. <coughs> it's pretty much a straight line with puzzles along the way. Just rotating that analog stick. What did that do? Oh, right. Another exit up there. Hmm. Okay. First, what's this way? Treasure! <clears throat> Money. Money card. A Gmail card. And a duplicate. We have two now, I think. Where are you? There you go. Two. Oh no. You can't easily climb up that, so. Time to rotate that to that analog stick again. This one takes us all the way. Hopefully, I don't have to rotate any, any more analog sticks after this, because uh, I'm not a fan of that mechanic. <clears throat> but we keep heading up. I sense boss fight. Trask's outer shell is highly resistant to physical attacks. Now if you read that book back in town, you'd know what you have to do here. And then you can just attack on stuff. Gathering massive amounts of heat energy. Straight up tells you what to do eventually. 
if you, if you don't figure it out. You don't have to read that book to figure out what, what you're meant to do, but, you know, it helps. <clears throat> like a boulder cracking open. Now I can do normal damage with physical attacks. Lovely. So now everyone pretty much can attack, but I will analyze just just to see. Just to see what it's got going. Virginia would try to go up to 25 FP. Did done, okay. <laughs> so then she can mystic the EXP card. And then we'll be good to go. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, well, yeah, that'll be quite good. Yeah. So now we just keep blasting. In the wise words of Danny DeVito, we just keep blasting. times by two, so actually 500 EXP. Which is a level up for everyone. And now this has appeared here. A powerful and wicked presence emanates from the holographic archive. He sends a moon towards him in the darkness. <laughs> if you remember back in Clive's uh, prologue story, there's one of these there yeah, there's one, there's one of these there as well. No, uh, we can't do anything with them yet. That's not too way later. Alright, so now I've got another stairs effect. Protection ward. Which I'm not equipping any, any of these yet because I just don't really need them. <clears throat> and uh, when you equip these, you cannot unequip them. You can only destroy them, so... I'm kind of just saving them until I feel like I need them, or until I have a good plan for them. But until then, they can just sit there. It's not urgent. <clears throat> so, alright, move on. Alright, so, I've got poor Darsh. Alright. What's your deal? Here, have this! Oh, I, I know what that is. Uh, I think that inflicts disease. Birds just having a banter. As we do. Weak to Earth. But they've only got 90 health, so not a big issue really. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Don't think I have any recovery items for that, so that's unfortunate. Really should have resupplied at Reutman when I saw him. Yeah, got nothing. Oh dear. So now I think she just doesn't recover automatically at the end of battle, but... It's an inconvenience, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Alrighty. 
couple tree chests together and grates. So this one's a bit of a climbing puzzle. Star up here. Here. Get a heal it seems like all the puzzles in this particular dungeon are kind of obnoxious. Because this one seems like it's going to involve a lot of backtracking and treading over the same ground. We'll see though. Actually, maybe I can just climb back on onto you. Okay, this is a, it was just one bit of backtracking. Not the worst. And two revive fruit. Oh. Too hard to jump back up. I was right. You do have to backtrack all the way. And I climb up here, and now we have two doors. What's in the door or to the right? This goes back down. Okay. Treasure room. Get a blue bracer, which is another stairs effect ward. Paralyze this side. Okay, again, don't think we need to worry about that just yet. And then we have a sealed chest. Booster kit. Increases the capacity of encounter gauge by 10. Allows you to evade more encounters. Yep, now we have 10 of 20 instead of just 10 of 10. Definitely worth going to get that because that'll be very helpful. Do, 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 do. It doesn't refill it back up to 20 though, unfortunately. Oh, another new enemy over there. The Gagagison. Very interesting uh, <laughs> enemy names in this. Alright, check out the birds first because they can inflict disease, which is not fun. And they can steal, which is also not fun. Luckily, they have terrible accuracy. Oh, you have stairs effects as well. Right, I don't remember what that was. <laughs> Week two. Oh, okay. Let's put our autobar back on. Just so I can save some button presses. Oh, also, disease, okay. Maybe I should give someone resistance to that while we're here. It seems like it's coming up quite a bit. Two Gimel coins! That's a pretty good drop. Alright, so, ooh, ugh, who already has it? You do, okay. I suppose I'll give one to our course. Oh, I don't have one for disease anyway. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's given us a lot of status wards, but not the one that's actually relevant for this area. Do you mean? Right here we have a fire puzzle again. There 
Not so difficult. <clears throat> Maybe keep ascending. Treasure chests, a gimel coin, and a mini carrot. This looks like a boss room, so yes, give me a minute to save and prepare for a boss. Alrighty. Is everyone alright? Yes, we seem to be fine, but. Look at the What's going on up there? <laughs> that situation never seems to get any better. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was not the boss room yet. Fair enough. Although this seems like it's going directly to it. Okay. Wood room premature. How do you like our Trinity Avenger? That name is even more ridiculous than the attack. How can I be so disgraced and humiliated? Hi there. Maya. The gang's all here. Looks like the stage is set. The Schrodingers have the Creo shield in their possession. Which means you must have the Andro shield, correct? Now hand it over, and I might just spare their lives. Don't do it. They're not just after it for the money. Eternal Sparkle is used to... Ugh. I'm trying to work efficiently here. Don't do it, Virginia. Don't do it. You already know we can't trust him. Dang it. <laughs> All three shields are now mine. All mine. Do you all believe Eternal Sparkle will grant unlimited power to the one who retains it? Wouldn't you like to see what the spear that destroys all life can really do? Boss, what's gotten into you? You ain't gonna blow off our mission, are you? <laughs> Once you're dead, it's all over. Just like the late Lucio. He is not one of us anymore. He is nothing. Wouldn't you agree? I've been giving this a lot of thought lately. How can one live forever without decaying? But the thing is, eternal life doesn't exist. There's no such thing as immortality. That's why I've chosen a different approach in which to live on forever. Obtain a force a power so strong, everyone will remember me for it. I am not going out as an average drifter. I will overcome the boundary of time and continue to exist within people's memories. With this power, I shall become the absolute ruler and engrave my name in history forever. Andro, Creo, Heraco, the time of awakening has come. Grant me the eternal sparkle. Why did you hand over that shield? It would have killed you. And I wanted to believe I was doing the right thing. I wanted to hold true to my beliefs. <coughs> B -b boss We don't want to end up like Lucio. He's abandoning his own men. Look. this pressure. It almost feels as if the mediums are trembling in fear. That's the eternal sparkle's true form, a symbol of power from ancient folklore, an artifact of the demons. Its blue flame continues to sparkle eternal darkness. 
I hear that's how it got its name. The blue flame, you say? Remember, uh, Shane earlier on was talking about a blue menace. That would be a, a threat to the world. I wonder if he was talking about this. That light feeds off the souls of others and continues to glow. It's a symbol of death. The notorious lance that violates life. The dark spear. That's a spear? That thing? I guess so. And all this time, I thought that Eternal Sparkle would be some kind of gem or precious metal. I mean, spe spears are made of precious metals uh, occasionally. You said there was neither good nor evil here, right? But all I feel is a dark and evil presence. Then what do you suggest we do? Summon a superhero to kick its butt? Tell me where we can find this, a defender of justice. You're looking at her! I'm sure there's a defender of justice out there somewhere. If not, then I'll become a superhero. Heck yeah! <laughs> I run into the wasteland knowing little, but I consider myself a drifter. Become a drifter has always been my dream. A drifter that would help people in need and bring down evil. But then that just wasn't the case. The actions of a drifter speak neither good nor evil. This misconception almost robbed me of my will to fly. But even so, I still want to be a drifter. I don't care if there's no justice. That's something I'll have to find on my own as I traverse the wasteland. Finding justice is my goal. And it's what keeps me going. I have found my answer. I don't want to see sad memories engraved in people's hearts anymore. So, when I stab you with this bayonet, how loud will you scream? Time to take down Janus once again. This guy just never gives up. I have to start off with a Gilla card, because why not? Let's see what else he's got going on. <laughs> I believe Janice's boss theme here is called a uh, crossfire sequence, which is just one of my favorite boss themes, also. Ooh, nice. That's with the XP things. So, use your FP to do Mystic again so you can just attack. You just keep attacking and hopefully get those crits. No element of weakness, so. As is the standard by now, just keep blasting. Hmm, seems like he's counter attacking, but honestly, not doing that much damage, so. Doesn't seem like Janus has learned any new tricks since last time, so this really shouldn't be much of an issue. Never mind, there's a new trick. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so. Disease stops all healing. Right. Forgot about that part. <laughs> well, that's an issue. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Ouch, that was through defense. Oh, now it counters with multi blast. Okay. Just what we needed. It's fine. Yes, we'll hope you got the cloud for that. Oh no! Okay. <coughs> you know what? Fine. <laughs> At least we won, and. Yeah, they had the same experience, but that's fine.
Damn it, I was so close. I let it slip away from my hands. <laughs> but it's not over yet. There's still much I want to do. I can't let it end here. I'm not satisfied. I see you found an answer. But it's really not... That was just your declaration of wanting to find an answer. In any case, you sure place a lot of value in something that's so unreliable. Justice may be unreliable, but still. I want to make that my priority out in the wasteland. I stand firm on that belief. I don't get you. So, what's next for you? I don't want to get involved with what just happened, that's for sure. I'm only interested in gems. Bye. You better watch yourself, you hear? Someone as green as you shouldn't get involved with this, in, in a cause as lofty as justice. You'll end up dead. Okay. You, ca you take care too. Virginia can't die. She's a JRPG protagonist. She will outlive everyone. <clears throat> we might be enemies the next time we meet. Well, until then, let's be on the same side. Of course he didn't die that easy. Ah, damn it. My body aches all over. Dario, Romero, you blokes here. No, I think he just kind of blew him off the end of the tower. I don't think they lived through that. Damn it all. Ah, is that you, Dario? Romero. I don't think that's Dario or Romero. Oh, it's you blokes. Sorry, I screwed up. I promise I'll complete my next assignment. I won't let anyone get in my way. Next time. I, I, actually, it was Dario or Romero that screwed up, not me. Was it a mistake for us to manifest power to one who does not understand its true meaning? What the heck are you? Uh, I see. So you had this watchman recover the dark spear from me, eh? How could I be so careless? Yes, but Lars was reporting everything. But your grand scheme, your actions. How vulgar, boorish, and shameless. This will be a fitting end for your reckless behaviour. No, wait. Why did you seek the Dark Spear? For power? Uh, yeah. This is the incarnation of the Dark Power you seek. The Dark Spear. I deem you worthy. Accept. Ah! 